In this clip, we're going to talk about the idea of frequency polygons. Well, what are they? Well, on the screen at the moment, you can see a frequency distribution diagram, sometimes called a histogram. Um, and on the right here are the frequencies which are part of this distribution. And they've been drawn so that the heights of each of these rectangles correspond to the frequency, which is the vertical axis. The frequencies are the heights of each of these rectangles. We could equally well draw that in a different way. That is by drawing a, a line from the midpoint of each rectangle to the midpoint of the next rectangle. And that's what's happened here. Midpoint of this rectangle to there, and then from there to there, to there, to there, to there, etc. Connecting the midpoints of each of the rectangles. Now, what does that look like if we get rid of the rectangles? Well, it just looks like a series of straight lines. But it holds exactly the same information as the diagram of the distribution did just a few seconds ago. That diagram on the screen now is called a frequency polygon, as opposed to a frequency distribution or histogram. So it's just another way of displaying exactly the same data. Let's now have a look at another distribution. And as with the previous one, the frequency polygon is drawn by connecting the midpoints of all these rectangles together with straight lines. There it is. There it is by itself. Remember that it holds exactly the same information as the distribution. The heights of each of the points on the polygon represent the frequencies on the table. So frequency distribution, frequency polygon. Same data in each. It's just another way of doing the same thing.